also full progressive with a feminist feminist news network that feminist news that's right for you welcome to sky in the pagoda room giving you that soulful news you need every time honey today you really need to hear this uh-huh indeed now remember to tell your friends to like and subscribe and get that soulful news to soulful way so you can get some every day yeah now what is it I want to talk to you about today? What is going on? The colonization, the warmongering, the continuous death and stealing of resources from ocean drilling to pipelining to warmongering across the nation. And the U.S. with Gaza, people are saying, why they don't have a problem with this? Code Pink is yelling, the protesters are protesting, the students are saying no. But you know what we all know? The U.S. has been this way for a long, long time. Now, I'm one person. I can't do nothing except get my channel my unmonetized so I can say what I want to say. That's why I say donate to Venmo at SkySofaProgress.com because the media sphere right now is shaking and there ain't nobody telling the truth because they're all quaking and worrying about their dollars when what we need to do is keep hollering I'm going to tell you right now, the U.S. has no problem with all the CIA uh, controlled and backed and created warmongering and Israel doing genocide like they're doing genocide in Sudan and slowly killing the Haitians and mistreating the Puerto Ricans. And let's not talk about why, which is a sovereign state. Now, RT has this. I'm going to show you this because this is the reason why the U.S. has no problem with genocide. Because they've been doing it all along. Let's watch. Since the beginning of its history, the United States of America has officially declared the striving for freedom and people's right to happiness. However, in reality, having won independence, American colonists headed for the total extermination of the indigenous population of the continent. American Indians were deprived of their land. Local residents were driven into reservations and given the worst agricultural territories, while the best land was appropriated by white colonizers. The strongest blow to American Indian tribes was the extermination of bison. Native Americans lived by hunting these wild animals. Colonists slaughtered the bison and, in fact, made them nearly extinct. Every buffalo dead is an Indian gone, said Colonel Richard Dodge, a veteran of the bloody and vicious Indian wars, cynically. The indigenous population was simply exterminated. U.S. Army General Philip Sheridan expressed the essence of this policy in the infamous words, The only good Indian is a dead Indian. The genocide of Native Americans of North America led to a demographic catastrophe. The exact number of deaths is still unknown, but the number of victims is in millions. Having been the majority on the continent before, the indigenous people make up less than 3% of the U.S. population today. I think it says all it needs to say. And if this war on Gaza and Israel and the U.S. gets their way, 
who says we can't have Jim Crow come back? Hmm. Leave your comments below. Let me know at feministnewsin at gmail.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and that Facebook page. And remember, I'm that Soulful Progress one on Twitter. Got that rant of the day on Blogger. And I'm no longer uh, that one woman team because I have the news crew. Thanks for joining. And if you care to donate, help out with the production. That's Venmo at Sky Soulful Progressive. Thanks in advance. And thanks for all of those that have already gave. I do appreciate you. Yeah, I do. Now, remember, during this era of hate, we're all going to have to participate so we can stop this genocidal, colonizing hate all over this place. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. Peace. It is sad out there. We done turned into an unmoralistic mess.